Private Ben Carmine, sir. Reporting for duty, sir. Every life we save today is something special. It's another chance for someone. Go forth and bring back the hope of humanity! But all I can do is make sure you all have all your future. Here's to the good fight and living to see another day. Welcome to Delta Squad. Something's wrong with this thing. It keeps jamming. Everything happens for a reason, a reason, a reason, a reason. Look, look, Marcus, Marcus is busy saving the world again, so. I gotta be there. I gotta be there. Yo, how's it going guys? It's Abs here and welcome back to another Gears of War lore video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the lore behind Gears 5 map Tomb and talking about the lore behind Tomb of the Unknowns as well and any trivia on the Gears 5 Tomb map as well. So as always, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you don't miss a single video and yeah, let's dive straight into it. So the Tomb of the Unknowns was a graveyard and tomb for many of the greatest and most decorated gears of the Coalition of Bordered Government's army and it was located across the street from the House of Sovereigns in Ephira. The tomb housed unknown gears killed in the Pendulum Wars and also war heroes who were awarded the Embry Star. It also later commemorated the gears lost during the Locust War, Stranded Insurgency and the Lambent Pandemic as well. And the Tomb of the Unknowns has been a big presence in the Gears of War franchise. Of course, we saw Lieutenant Mignon Kim was killed right outside the Tomb of the Unknowns. We saw Gulis get absolutely mauled by a Berserker in the Tomb of the Unknowns. And at the end of Gears 5, during the Swarm War, during the Battle of Old Fera, due to both the Kraken and use of the Hammer of Dawn, the Tomb of the Unknowns was actually destroyed along with the majority of Old Fera. So the Tomb of the Unknowns was part of Old Fera and that was destroyed unfortunately. So let's go through the Gears 5 Tomb map. I want to walk through through it and just give my thoughts as we go, given lore tidbits and things like that. So let's go. So here we just enter through the spawn. Um, look at this cog gate right here, looks pretty cool. Really Gears 1 vibes right here and I love it. I absolutely love it. Over here. Look at that, looks so cool. Tension to detail is really great. That's really good. Same on this side here. You've got the cog symbol pretty much everywhere. More gears. That looks pretty cool. So what does it say here? In everlasting gratitude for the ultimate sacrifice upon the field of battle. Damn. This map is awesome. And listen to that. Gears of War OST from the original Gears. Damn, that is amazing. I think it's gone. Got a gear helmet there. We've got a Retro Lancer there. We've got some flowers here. Some more flowers. Um, another gear helmet. And let's see what it says up here. If you can read it. Here rests an unknown warrior. Venerated by all the coalitions, we are forever grateful. Those unknown who died in darkness are commemorated here before the eternal flame, having given the most a soldier can give life itself. Sorry, just a little bit difficult to read. Let's get a bit closer. Vigilant and unyielding, resolute within the machine, they defended the order of life through sacred duty. On this day and forevermore, we bear witness to their sacrifice made for the enduring cause of justice and freedom for all of Sarah. We do not know their names, 
but we do know their righteous creed. One of faith, humility, honor, and loyalty. Damn, that's amazing. And I can't read that last line there. It's a bit covered. They were gears. Oh, damn. So I think that's supposed to sort of pay tribute to the gears that, you know, died in darkness. We didn't really know about them. You know, they might have died in the hollow. Could have died anywhere else, really. And that music. Oh, my God. That is amazing, man. This map is so good. And you got the swarm infestation as well. That goes with the swarm war. Obviously, it wouldn't have looked like that before. Um, the normal dead and eternal rest. Valiant souls who fought and died for the oath they upheld. Damn. Don't know why power taps come up. I think I might have to back out and come back in. Yeah. Alright, uh, back in a sec. <laughs> I actually missed something right here as well. Major Helena Stroud, who is actually Anya's mother, and it says while the body may pass, the deed will forever endure. Now Helena Stroud, she actually died during the Pendulum Wars. The way she died, like they couldn't recover her body of course. Um, so this is sort of a memory to her really. It says the same on this side. So she was a major in the cog. Oh my god, look at this. Juvie's up in here. Oh, Asphalt Fields, the Battle of Asphalt Fields, right. Oh, Carlos Santiago's on there as well. And Dom, and Helena Stroud, and Hoffman. Uh, who else is there? Can't really see who else. Look at those little details right there. Gotta love it. So look at all these names we've got here. Heroes of the Siege of Anvil Gate. Oh, okay. So we got Samuel Byrne. I think that might be Sam's dad, you know. A lot of names here. Damn. I think it's the same on the other side, maybe? Yeah, it is. That looks beautiful. What an amazing map. This is Gears 1 vibes. This is what I'm talking about. This is amazing. This just tells me Gears of War straight away. Love to see it. But yeah guys, there you have it. That's just a quick run through of the lore behind the map. Tomb, which has just arrived in Gears 5. Operation 6 Drop 2. But let me know what you think of this map. And do you like the actual vibes that it gives and just the lore behind it, you know, the attention to detail is really good. Um, you know, I know some of you lore enthusiasts would like the lore touches on this map, you know, Lena Stroud, the music there, Memorial, paying tribute to the Fallen Gears. Um, we got, you know, paying tribute to Anvil Gate as well. Uh, the pendulum wars asphalt fields amazing stuff so yeah guys if you did enjoy this video be sure to drop a like and wave one's about to start so i'm gonna get the hell out of here and yeah subscribe for more and i'll catch you on the next one